These are the great paintings of Mark W. Joyner. This first one is called Letter to the President from God. As you can see, the letter is from God and it's to the President of the United States and it's at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue at Washington, D.C. 20,500 and the message is urgent and as you can see there is no postage required if mailed by God. The painting's concept is the viewer is supposed to look at the painting and imagine what would God write in a letter to the President of the United States. The second painting here it's called What Justice Worships. What does justice worship? Well, right there it is. It's a little cash symbol. It's alive. It actually is throwing off all kinds of radiation with its spirit. Just like a saint radiates his Shekinah glory. And here is one of the greatest paintings ever done by mankind, which I am proud to say was made by me. It's called The Pit. And in The Pit, there are many different things. As you can see right here is a Derringer 22 or 25. And there's a watch melting. There's the eagle's head, a rubber ducky, a pterodactyl, credit card. There's a cool looking stork. And uh, there's a, a, a melting uh, lantern that you rub for genies coming out of the stork's head. There's a tongue and a penis and a wooden shoe from the Dutch land. And uh, that's not Germany. Uh, there's a telephone, penis, ear, leg, a uh, cool little shark up there, uh, and along with the shark at the bottom, at the bottom is a, uh, it's a old time caveman skull, like, a monkey skull, but you can't see it. It looks like it's too blurry. There's an ear of corn. There's no lighting in my house. The way this house is designed, there's no lighting. There's a buck knife with a purple handle. And you can see on the end of the buck knife, there's a deer. Of course, there's no lighting in this house, so you can barely see it. And there is a melting rifle. Under it is a pipe wrench with an old time pay telephone. There's the melting watch. There's the clasp of the watch. There's a little piece of the watch dripping off there. There's a flower. There's a melting ball bat, here's an ice pick, or not an ice pick, but a pickaxe. Two UFOs in the top melting. There's a garbage can. There's a cross guard. And down here, we have a little green snake. And, uh,. And there we have an alien's face going this way. And a tombstone with the pentagram on it. And all of this was made by God. I smeared the paint around, letting God basically guide my hand. I let the paint dry, and then I would look into the painting to see what images God made using my hand and then I would paint the then I paint the images that I see God made in.
so that they're more delineated to the viewer. This is a painting called Crash and Panic, based on a dream that I had of a person wrecking their car into a creek that was over flooded. And you can see he's trying to get out. He's trying to roll the window down, but it looks like he's working the door lock instead of the uh, door window opener. There's the speedometer. He's doing 15 miles an hour in reverse, being pushed down the creek. By the current, there's a big log coming right out of his car, and there's a tree on the shore up there. You can see the shoreline on the left by that tree there, and on the right, you can see through his windshield the green grass of the right side of the uh, creek. And as you can see, it is 3D. Now I pile the paint up like that to make it like that. It's a 14 by 11 painting. The pit here is uh, 8 by 10. Justice is 10 by 10. This painting here is pretty cool. There's an alien sitting there on a swing. This is another one of my splash paintings that I invented. Uh, there's some kids riding a sled, pushing each other on the sled. There's a monkey playing the piano, Superman, saving Lois Lane, melting tack, and a few other things. And here is otherworldly nun. Uh, she's from another world. She's a nun. And, uh, yeah, check her out. She's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> and here's an abstract painting I made. You can see all different kinds of things in there. Basically, whatever your mind comes across as it reviews its own memory unconsciously while viewing my painting. And here's a really cool one too. It's called Evil Knievel, as you can see. It's in another MWJ splash painting. If you notice, the internet calls me MWH splash painter. That is not what I call myself. It's what I call, and it's not MWH either, it's MWJ. It's what I call the style of painting that I invented, where you smear the paint around, let it dry, look to see what images you can see, and paint them in. Uh, that's a hand with the bone coming out, right there. There's a leg with the bones, a little guy shooting a gun. Uh, there's a golf club with a dice, a die, guy shooting a pool. You can even see the pool table and a flashlight under the pool table. A little Budweiser lamp above the pool table. And, uh, like I said, that's all 3D right there. It's all piled up on 11 by 14 with the oil and acrylic on that one. Although most of my paintings are oil, this one is called Apocalypse 1. And this is the one that won third place at Penn State University in the war contest. There's people bombing and shooting with a 50 caliber and a 30 millimeter, a big giant angel with a bomb going off in the background. The hand of God has someone in his hand who knew better and he's pointing at them. And there's a guy paratrooping dead before he hits the ground. MWJ.